you feel kind of sorry for me because, you know, I'm a white guy? Not at all. You got all the advantages. No, 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 you know. A lot of white guys are saying they're the most oppressed minority these days. I would really like to see evidence of that. You would? Yes, I would. Well, listen to this. The white man. He's everywhere. Great white men include leaders, entrepreneurs, and artists. For centuries, the white man has expanded his habitat to include every corner of the earth. He's invented everything from the A-bomb to the Zamboni. Surely this sparkling example of the human species will be with us forever. Or will he? Maybe, like the mighty buffalo, we've taken the white man for granted. Already, there are disturbing signs that the white man as we know him is an endangered species. This is psychologically a difficult time for a lot of white males. What you see behind you uh, is symbolic of the real endangered species. To help us better understand the plight of the male Caucasian, TV Nation consulted three experts on saving the white man. Gary Costanza is membership director of the National Center for Men. And we're led to believe that women are considered second-class citizens? Forget it, forget it. Men are second-class citizens, third-class citizens. Frank M. Borzaleri is president of the New York Rifle Association and a member of a local New York school board. Well, I think that uh, uh, white men are under some sort of a political siege. Hugh Nations is a board member of the National Coalition of Free Men. I think that men are under attack. And the attack has taken its toll. Everywhere you look, the white man is in decline. Ten years ago, 96% of the U.S. Senate was composed of white males. Today, that figure has dwindled to a scant 89%. In the last few years, corporate boardrooms, the traditional habitat of white men, have undergone an unprecedented invasion by outsiders. Today, white male earnings have plunged to only 30% more than everyone else. Truly, the white male is being threatened on all sides by his natural enemies, minorities. We're force feeding um, different ethnic groups uh, at the expense of whites. Women, Ladies, ladies night is, uh, first of all, out and out illegal. I mean, you actually, you can't discriminate on the basis of sex. The truth is, women do lie about rape. And basically everyone who isn't a white male. We are being made to feel guilty for the oppression of so-called oppressed minorities. He's fighting back. I am against quotas. In the only way he knows how. No to quota bills and no to affirmative action. But he's tired. Affirmative action is another federal policy out of control. And who knows how long he can hold out without our help. While environmentalists demonstrate on behalf of the spotted owl and the snail darter, there has been some reluctance to help the white man. Yet without the white man, we are all the worse off. Who will bring us the A-bombs and Zambonis of tomorrow? Who will paint their faces at football games? Why settle for? You may have the grace to look up. When you can have? Men in pants, men in pants. In other words, to put it in a nutshell, we're carrying the burden of the world on our shoulders. The white man clearly needs our help. Support TV Nation's efforts to get the white man recognized as an endangered species by sending your letters to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Remember, a white is a terrible thing to waste. Everything is size and definition. Uh -huh. 28% of Americans think that our Army's high-tech military equipment is too expensive to risk in combat. 